Hey y'all, Dr. D here. Sorry I look like a mess today, but I only have a little bit of time and really wanted to get this video out. So what I've been doing is, again, playing around with ChatGPT, as many of us are. And if you haven't seen my previous videos on how to use it to create multiple choice questions, board review, those types of topics, I'll try to put those links in uh, the notes as well in the description. But I wanted to show a new way that uh, not new but just the way that i've experimented with using it to create an entire course outline and uh, a pretty definitive product for us so let me see if i can get out of full screen here so i started off with just taking a simple topic such as pneumonia and i wanted it to create a couple of different categories or modules for the course and then some subcategories within each one really to get some granular detail within this course of just pneumonia now you might not want to make an entire course just on one topic but i wanted to experiment with it to see how granular it gets how detailed it gets and it did not disappoint now some of these you definitely want to change around a bit or mimic them in each module. Um, but I wanted to get away from just that really basic intro to you know, respiratory and then you cover pneumonia for a brief period of time and then that's about it. So after getting a granular, and I need to th find another synonym for that, uh, outline for the course, we could make some edits to it, but I wanted to see how it would uh, create more detailed topics for these based on the five level series now if you haven't seen the five level series they're really popular where they get an expert on a particular topic and they try to explain their expertise to five different levels um, you can see here teen grad student expert and even though ChatGPT said it wasn't able to recognize that it still picked the levels uh, appropriately uh, this is how I've actually tried to design some of my material in the past, and it determined that pretty well without um, without any input and without being able to pull up the wired course. So it went into the different subtopics. I'm going to scroll through these fast, so feel free to screenshot if you want, or maybe a request that I send you a copy of these if you find it interesting. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is I'm using MED3PO. Um, which is one of the chatbots that I created now that ChatGPT allows you to create your own bots. And basically, I primed it to be an expert in medicine and medical research and practice. Um, so it's very easy to create those down in, I think it's your templates or maybe your profile. Either way, uh, just to give it a little more focus and context. Now, you can program a regular ChatGPT to do this you just have to type in every time you are a whatever and be as detailed as possible and it'll start following that persona so with this it created multiple topics for multiple modules and unfortunately it's limited on the characters that it can uh, produce with one prompt but it was kind enough to ask if i wanted the remaining uh, modules and subtopics created so it did that for me after saying yes now it did take some time because we had to do this a few times to get everything done but it really got into some granular granular detail some really deep detail on some of these topics things that i would not have necessarily thought of to put into the course and uh it might be difficult to generate some of these ideas or at least very time consuming to do so on our own. Now, I also read that if you prompt it with something emotional, saying that you need personal help, you're struggling with something or some sort of emotional appeal, that it can produce better outputs. So I put in my future career depends on it. Now, it doesn't necessarily for this course, but I just wanted to put that in just in case it optimizes the material a little bit more <laughs> there have actually been a couple of studies on this where uh, emotional tone can produce better output through chat gpt so i asked it how to keep the learners interested and um 
enforce, you know, appropriate learning methodology and uh, space repetition type concepts for it. So it gave numerous ideas to use. Some are obvious, some less so. Some might be limited depending on your institution or online platform you're using. By the way, if you need an online platform for your course, do reach out. We can help you out with that. Uh, then I asked for a schedule because even though we have all of this content, we can't do all of those every time. We need to space it out. So it gave a suggestion. Uh, maybe not the best suggestion. Some things I would repeat every time or maybe multiple times per week initially and then kind of slower and slower as we go on. But it uh, did give a lot of interesting ideas, podcast guests, for instance, a virtual case study. If you have an online course and live students, you could do something like that. Uh, There's one other that really got me. Where was it? Um, oh, there it is. Uh, Role-playing exercise. That could be kind of fun if you're in person, but also there are ways to do that virtually these days. It gives a couple extra tips. If you have an online platform that regulates the emails for you, it makes it very simple. Um, but I also wanted a couple of example questions for each topic. So it did so right here. Um, some of these are pretty easy. You can say to readjust it, make it more difficult, make it a uh, difficulty level of a medical resident or a specialist in pulmonology, and you'll get much different results than we're here. Uh, just gives an example of some creative ideas you can use to start the process off. And depending on your audience, you may or may not want to make those more difficult. But it didn't give me the answer uh, options there, which you would think it might intuitively do. And my examples or tests so far have not shown that. So I had to prompt it again to give the uh, correct answer, why it's right and why the others are incorrect. It kind of screwed up on this one a little bit. It just listed the other ones very basically. Um, so again, I could prompt it once more to add more details on a answer by answer option. I did do that in the USMLE video I posted, so you can check that one out for more details. But this is a quick way to get the basics of any course started, and you could do this in under 10 minutes. So I suggest you try it out, get started. If you need any help, any assistance, or if you have any tips that might help out that I haven't implemented in this video, please do let me know.